right? Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shem, I'm shy about Shem, Kakadash. Double honor to my elders and apostles, a great millstone. Who rule well, teach well, be a great example to us, and brothers. Peace and blessings to the full elect, Lord willing, we be a part of that number. <clears throat> all right, and um, I'm the brother Kodar from Demons Band Chicago. Come back with another video. This video is going to be entitled uh, Response for Stay Ready. All right, the. Um, you know, it was uh, the, a video the apostle came out with, all right, and it's a trailer to a movie, all right, and, um, you know, <laughs> hey, like they say, it's, it's all predict predictive programming, all right, hey, uh, matter of fact, let me, let me play this video, man. Like it. Whenever I get to this area, the internet gets really bad. But um, if that's the case, I'll just leave it in the description in the video. Y'all right this out. Don't forget. All right. Uh, whenever I upload it. <clears throat> but uh, basically, is uh, banning the Bible, man. Whoever speaks on it is gonna get arrested. All right. And um, we understand that Canada. All right. Is is proposing a law. All right. To ban it, man. All right, basically ban quote unquote free speech. All right, and um, this is what we've been prophesying the whole time, man. This is <clears throat> Amos eight and eleven, because hey, this is what these devils do. They put it in the movie. All right, they put it in your face. All right, because that goes back to the tall mood. All right, what they believe in. All right, because it go into you know the, the 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 blood is off their hand whenever they put it in your face. All right, so they do it through little. Ch uh, through their little puppets like these little comedians or they put in their movies and you know this and that man all right they try to take the blame off of them all right it's amos 8 and 11 behold the days come saith the lord yeah how about she mouth shy that i will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread even though there will be a famine of bread all right but this is talking about the famine of the word it says nor thirst for water but of hearing the words of the lord and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. All right. And that day shall the fair virgins and young men uh, faint for thirst, meaning they're going to be willing. They're going to be wanting to hear it. All right. That's why the scripture says to seek me early. All right. So everybody, all the, all the wicked is going around a wicked lifestyle. All right. And, and, you know, they hurt this word, man. The Lord leaves no stone unturned. That's why it says the Lord leaves. Uh, so like, that's why they. Um, uh, that's why the scripture says they have no cloak for their sins. All right, meaning they have no more excuse. Because everyone's heard this word, man, whether you actually take heed or not. All right? And when when, all, when shit hit the fan, they're going to be looking for us, man. All right? Where are those guys in the corner, man? I just seen a video of this guy. He's pretty popular in Chicago. He does skits and, you know, uh, many cinema stuff. You know, his name is Corporate. All right, and he just, he in his new video, man, he was mocking the prophets, man. All right, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, Lord willing, I could uh, put that in the description as well, but the guy was mocking the prophets, man. These guys know what the fuck is up. All right. Hey, hey when, when all hell break loose, man, they're going to regret it. They're going to fucking regret it, man. All right, it's, this is, um, hey, but we've been preparing for this, man. This is Luke 14 and 28. All right, hey, because we, while this world been partying, man, and that, and that, and that, that uh, days of Noah's spirit, man, we've been getting our spirit prepared, man. All right? We've been getting our mind right, man, getting right with your how about Chanel Shai. All right, this is Luke 14. I'm going to start at 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren, and sister, yeah, his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. All right, so there's a lot of people, there's a lot of simple people who will read this and say, oh, the scripture said the Bible teaches to hate your parents. Hey, nah, the scripture says to honor your mother and father. All right, you go into that word for hate, it means to love less. All right, it says your mother, your wife, your children, your father, your brethren and sisters, and your own life also. All right, the scripture says in, in Second Ezra, they love not their lives to death. So we're willing to put our lives on the line, man. We're willing to hazard our lives, man. As it says in uh, Acts, uh, the 15th chapter. All right, putting our lives on the line, man. 
All right, like Elder Malcolm would say, uh, uh, um, putting our lives on the line and uh, risking our freedom to do so, man. Okay, what the fuck. Um, and whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. All right. Hey, so every right going to that other time, that, that word for cross goes into death, man. Bear your own death. All right, it says, For which of you intending to build a tower, sit if not down first, and count of the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it. All right, it says, uh, Less happily after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. All right, so when you when you come into the truth, man, you, you fall out. Yeah, we gonna talk shit about it. We gonna we gonna we gonna make fun of you, man. All right, because you ain't finished your fa you you ain't finished uh, uh, your uh, course, man. All right, you didn't endure into the end. All right, so going hey, what the what is going into, man? Hey, when you go into the tr when you enter into the truth, man, you gotta consider these things. I'm gonna lose everything and be hated. All right, so that's the mindset you got to be in, man. You got to be ready to uh, lose it. All right, it's because he that uh, loses life shall... Uh, uh, let me get it. Let me get it. Matter of fact, I don't want to butcher it. Uh, it's a game. For whosoever... Matthew 16 and 25. For whosoever is in a red... Read uh, letters, so that's our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, whom the world ignorantly calls uh, JC or Cheesy Rice or Jesus. It says, "For whatsoever will save, whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall, will lose his life for mine, for my sake, shall find it." Man, all right. It says, um, "Saying this man began to build and was not able to finish." Or what king go up to make war against another king? Sit if not down first, he consulted whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him at uh to like it to meet him that cometh against him with twenty thousand, man. Alright? So you gotta consider these things. Okay. You gotta consider these things, man. Yeah, you're gonna get locked up. You might get locked up, man. Alright? This is Revelations two and ten. Fear none of these things. Fear one of those things. Uh I'm reading it over Salakia. Revelations 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. All right, I hate um, misreading words. You know, just got to slow down. It says, Behold, the devil, all right, Esau, Edom, shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried and shall receive, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. All right, that's a complete amount of days. Whatever the Lord got set for you, it says, Be, that, be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life, man. So we got to be ready to lose our life, man. All right. Let me grab this uh, Matthews 10. It's Matthew 10 to 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. And where those sheep are right, we in the midst of wolves, man. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So we got to use wisdom out here. Verse 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils. And they will scourge you in their synagogues. All right. Hey, so <laughs> we're going to be beaten, man. All right. You just, hey, some of us going to be beaten. Some of us going to be martyrs. All right. Okay. Hey, so this is the things that we have to consider. All right. You read verse 21. All right. I'm, I'm uh, read it real quick. It says, And a brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child. And the children shall raise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. So this truth is going to cause a division. Your children might turn on you, man. Your parents might turn on you. All right. If they don't, cool. But hey, we getting we 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 in the spirit of uh um uh we 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 in the spirit of preparedness for when it does, man. All right. Just like when the scripture says, "Marvel not, marvel not if she trespass against thee." All right. If she don't, if she stay with you to the end, that's cool. All right, she's going to be saved with you. But if she do, all right, hey, we don't be surprised. All right, it's verse 23. But when they persecute you in this uh, 
Salakia, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. All right, that's plain. All right, and that's a, <laughs> that's funny. I'm a, it's ten twenty three, and I'm Ma I'm reading Matthew ten. All right, about to read verse twenty three. It says, uh, "But when they persecute you in a city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall have not, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel to the Son of Man become." All right, that that was all uh, Matthew ten. I was gonna grab this Hebrew four and twelve. It says, "For the word of Yahweh." Is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All right. Hey, so this truth cuts people, man. All right. So you don't think it cuts this devil? You don't think he knows what's going on? All right. Hey, since our, our uh, since our. Uh, uh, since our elders came on the scene, man, all right, starting in hey, 1968, starting from Abba Bivens, man, hey, America has been falling, man. Hey, America has long passed its its golden age, its peak, so to say. All right, it's just been going down and down, and these high level elites, all right, they understand. All right, hey, these heathens understand, man. They understand that <laughs> that uh, when these Israelites wake up, man, it's over for us. All right, read Judith the fifth chapter. Okay, hey Psalms the second chapter, Psalms uh, uh eighty three. All right, or is it eighty two? All right, hey the heathens, they're hey they're all in confederacy, man. To keep the Israelites down, because we are the chosen people of Yahweh man. All right, and these hey, he, the scripture says uh, in Isaiah, all right, the devil cometh down with a great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. All right, it says in Job, all right, that the Most High have set bounds that he cannot pass, so he has a time limit. Every kingdom has a time limit, man. All right, except the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. All right, hey, so this devil knows. <clears throat> All right, and he, he's coming down. He's about to come, come down on us, man. All right, hey, but this ain't 70 AD. The Lord's going to lift up that standard. The Lord is going to fight for us, man, protect us. All right, but we are, all right, ready to to to, uh, uh, to lose our life, all right, if that's in our lot, man. All right. Hey, so I pray this is an edifying video. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Ophel Allah, Glow, willing we be a part of that number. Shalom, Wakwam, Yashirah.